Okay, so here we're going to make a rather large roll. It's actually going to kind of be the equivalent of half a loaf of bread. I am just going to split these into four after I do a little bit of kneading. And it'll kind of be like a, a meal size loaf for a couple or something nice to serve with breakfast. Make a giant egg sandwich on it. cut into pizza squares. You can also use this recipe to make pizza doughs. Um, I've had success with that before. I do add a little more olive oil to kind of slow the... So I'm going to cut this in half, half, half. Uh, the ends are obviously a little bit smaller, so let's see what this weighs. Okay, so that is four and five eighths. That's five, so we're just gonna pinch a little bit off that. Four and five eighths. Four and five eighths. Wow, I'm better than I thought I was. Ah, three and five eighths. So I'm just gonna pinch off a little bit of this. Four and a quarter. Four and an eighth, close enough. Five-eighths, we're just going to pinch a little bit off that. Four and five-eighths, we're going to pinch a little bit off that. And since these are going to be independent loaves rather than, uh, rather than, you know, bun size. So I just roll them between my hands. And actually, I think I usually come out with a lot more rolls, but when I split my double batch, I had uh, inadvertently given more to the loaves that I was doing in the loaf pans than to the rolls. Okay, so for these, I do the same thing. I slash them. Some people use a, a lathe, which is a special bread tool. I just have a knife that I particularly like. You could also use a very sharp razor blade. I'm going to spray these very lightly and I'm going to cover.